And hello everybody, we're back for Kittimer Accord Space Elite in our Temporal Destroyer. I have cured all injuries from Cure Space Elite and am ready to go. I have not reskilled yet, so that sucks, but that will be alright. Let's see. Alright, we're all set up. And as you can tell, uh, yeah, I am in the 31st century temporal jumpsuit that they wear. With a scarf, because I'm the doctor, of course. So here it goes. Let's see what happens with our temporal destroyer. After this mission, I'll just talk about some uh, changes and updates I might want to make after playing with this now for a little while. Because I do see room for improvement. Lots of room for improvement, actually. Somebody asked me in the last video, or left a comment, why we were not concerned with the red um, text here and completing this. This is not something you complete, this is something you watch out for. You don't want these little probes here to go through that gate. If they do, it counts up. If you get one, you fail the optional. If you get ten, you fail the entire mission. So you have to watch out for that and not allow any to get through. If you do this perfectly, it should be zero of ten. That's the way you do get a board space.
escape. Let's do our Mannheim thing here. I'm, I'm interested to see if it will help us bring firepower on this gate. I'm going to hit it and see what happens. See, it is firing on the gate, so it does work. Yeah, both, look at that. Both of my TARDIS, both of my ships are uh, firing on the gate. That one died, but this one's still going. Yeah, it's completely firing on the gate. That is awesome. So it does work. On uh, gates and things. That's what I wanted to know. It, now it disappeared. It doesn't last long, but it does work. So it does give you a little bit more firepower for a little bit of time. Well, that's awesome information to know. So that's cool information. The Mannheim device, um, your ships will attack the gates. They will attack the gates. And I blew up. Blew, but I blew up that time because the gate was attacking me and I should have got out of its way. It's my fault. 
I should have backed up. I was too close to it. My fault on that one. Okay, I can't turn, so he says hit escape. Hey, that did work. Okay, there you go. If you get stuck and you can't turn, which seems to be a bug in the game, hit escape. That fixes it. Alright. Good tip. Thank you, sir. Optional complete. Successful mission. Now it's time to take out the Natra. Now you know what? I am going to try the Mannheim on her. However, she cloaks, so that will reduce its effectiveness. But, if we all stay behind her, um, stay uh, upwards of 5km, she will not cloak. But somebody could get too close and then she would cloak, so just have to be really careful. And I do have weapon systems malfunction, that's great. I have damage already. Didn't want that. Manheim! I want to see what the Manheim does. Gotta know, gotta know. Maybe, I wonder if it'll make her cloak or not. See, that I don't know. Well, she destroyed him fast. Okay, it makes her close. Weapon almost got me, but but it didn't. Ow! She is after me with a vengeance. Since we're all staying back, she's not cloaking. That's how you defeat her. But the Mannheim defense. Alright, sweet.
Okay, so there we go, everybody. Uh, sorry for that little pause there. Okay, so that was um, Kittimer Accord Space Elite. All right, so that was Kittimer Accord Space Elite. That went a lot better on uh, this time. So I have uh, some things that we've learned after doing this. First of all, um, Cure Space Elite went a little, little rough. Kittimer Accord was better. Infected was okay. Um, now it is time to look at what I would upgrade. First of all, a Mannheim device makes the Nutra um, cloak because it gets too close for her. So avoid using that on her. But you can use it on the gates. It will work on the gates. Um, what else have we learned? Well, I have learned that, first of all, my skills that I'm using, I'm only using Cannon Rapid Fire 1. So that's not terribly good, but I do have Torpedo Spread 3. I would say I would upgrade to um, Cannon Rapid Fire 3. I would like to have Torpedo Spread 3 and Cannon Rapid Fire 3. I can um, support that because... Well, I can. The only way I can have cannon rapid fire three is if I put a tactical character in this spot, and then this station right here could be cannon rapid fire three, and at the same time I'd have torpedo spread three. That's the only way that I could have both. But I would like to have both on this ship. It needs it, honestly, especially if you're on a science character. Um, otherwise, you could go cannon rapid fire two. At least it's better. But but still, you know, I'd like to have rapid fire three. Oh, hold on one second. So um, that's what I would do. I would make some improvements to that. Um, Attack Pattern Omega-3 would also be completely awesome. I only have Omega-2. Um, there are bridge officers that have that on them. Um, I don't know if I have any of those, but... Hmm. And of course, I've only got Cannon Scatter Volley 1, and I've only got Torpedo High Yield 1. See, I've got a lot of 1 abilities. I don't have a lot of tier 2 or tier 3 abilities so that's affecting me first of all um, if I were on my tactical character I might have more options in hand so this ship really is built better I think for a tactical or an engineer on a science you're kind of gimping it um, and I mean I got gravity well 1 but that's really not helping me too much so yeah this ship is really built better for tactical or um, engineer I'm, I'm probably uh, not doing it justice having it on my science character and um, I did blow up more than I had anticipated but again I do not have a lot of my skills set for this ship all my skills were actually set for the um, intrepid refit I didn't even reskill when I went to the Tholian orb weaver so um, this ship I haven't reskilled for either, and I need to reskill. Reskilling will help a lot because I can put more points toward the whole strength, whole, uh, whole integrity, and all that kind of stuff, and then shield strength. I'm not sure if I've got all my skill points in that, but I, I can put, you know, um, skill points to the shields and then skill points toward the hull, and that will help this ship a lot. It is, after all, an escort. You have to understand it's going to blow up more than a cruiser. But. I think that it's, I'm just not doing it justice on my science character. I think it's better fit for an engineer or a tactical officer. And um, in fact, if I had it on my engineer, I could combine it with the awesome power of Miracle Worker, which means I would still have all the, I'd have more DPS anyway because he's an engineer. And I would have more healing abilities. So I'd have like Miracle Worker and stuff like that, which would allow me to heal the ship more and not blow up as much at the same time. So I would say primarily the ship is best built for a tactical officer. Secondarily, go for the engineer. Um, that's probably your best balance and the engineer gives you more healing abilities. Um, the worst character to have it on is a science character. And what do I have this ship on? A science character. <laughs> so you've seen it at its worst I guess you could say. Um, it is uh, an escort, it's a temporal destroyer, and it's just not built for this character, so um, that sucks. 
I would make the change, I would switch out the ships, I would have the Wells class temporal science ship on this character, and I would put this temporal destroyer on my engineering tactical. So I hope um, one day I am able to get a temporal destroyer because at that, I mean not a temporal destroyer, a, a temporal science vessel, the Wells class, um, not the Mobius. I, I hope one day I'm able to get that because then that's the ship I would use on this character. And then I'll have both consoles because I've already got this ship, so I'd have both consoles on the Wells class ship, the Tipler and the Mannheim, so I could have both of those consoles. So I'd have all five consoles on my Wells class science vessel, it would be pretty awesome. Um, and then I would just have to get more low buy and, um, have this ship on my engineering tactical. That's the setup that I want. But that's going to be expensive, time consuming, and take me forever to accomplish. So at this point, this is all I've got. If, uh, at any point that I acquire the Wells class time ship, I will definitely record videos just like I did here for the Temporal Destroyer. It's just a matter of me getting it or being able to get it. And uh, right now I'm poor, I'm out of energy credits, I'm out of Zen, I'm out of Dilithium, I'm out of everything because I spent everything I had to get the Temporal Destroyer. And uh, now I got nothing left. So, pff, you know, that's, uh, that's the way it goes. I opened quite a few lockboxes actually and got no ship, no, uh, temp no Temporal Science Vessel. And that's the way things go. It's a gambling device after all. Um, so, you know, there it is. But if I get that ship, I will show it. I hope that I'm able to. So that was the Temporal Destroyer Mobius. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, look for more videos in the future. We're going to continue doing this. Um, oh, one other thing I was just thinking out while I'm sitting here looking at this uh, menu is my dual heavy cannons were a little slow on this ship. Um, one thing you could do to fix that is add another one and do without a torpedo. I used to have, on my Defiant, I had an all cannon build where I had all four uh, forward dual heavy cannons, and that worked out really nice actually. But I also had a rapid fire three, cannon rapid fire three, which um, helped. Um, another thing you could do to make these fire a little faster is not use dual heavy cannons, but just use dual cannons. If you've got three dual cannons, um, they fire faster and recharge faster so you would be firing off cannons faster than these three dual heavy cannons. It was just a little bit slower than I thought it would be but you could make up for that if you had two cannon rapid fire like I could have cannon rapid fire three and cannon rapid fire two um, that would make up for it uh, but I didn't. I only had cannon rapid fire one so um, so that's how it goes, you know, it's all, it, it's all on the build, you know, it's all on the weapons you choose and the powers you choose, and this one with the universal consoles, it does let you um, have a greater flexibility to how you want to set it up with your powers, so I like that a lot about the ship, but it will, it will fit a lot better on a tactical or engineer, and that's just the way it is. If you've got a science officer, I would say uh, go for the Wells class temporal science vessel and leave the temporal destroyer to the other classes. So there you go. That's that. Hope you all enjoyed and stay tuned. There are, of course, going to be more videos. Enjoy everybody. Have fun.